Hello friends, I'm Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids team. Welcome to Circle Time. I am so excited to see all of you here at Circle Time. And today we have some special guests. We're gonna read a book and do some show and tell. And if you wanna know when the next Circle Time is coming out, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Khan Academy Kids. So today I am here with my friend, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Caroline. Hi, friends. Isn't it great to be here today at Circle Time? How are you doing? Hmm, Caroline, it seems like some of our friends are feeling happy. Some of our friends are feeling excited about their learning that's happening doing a lot of counting, doing a lot of reading. Hmm, one of our friends is feeling a little bit tired, so maybe they need to go to bed a little bit early tonight. Well, friends, it's great to be here for Circle Time with Caroline and Khan Academy Kids. And today we have some visitors, teacher Naomi and Noah are here to talk to us about the word justice and being fair. Can we all say hi to teacher Naomi and Noah? Hello. Hi. Hi, hi Caroline. Caroline. Hi, hi Sophie. Sophie. It's teacher Naomi. And Noah. And today we are going to be talking about justice. Noah, have you ever heard of this word before? No. Can we talk about it? Yes. Okay, because I want to teach you and I want to talk to our friends at home about this really big word that's really important. Even though you may not have heard of the word before, I'm sure you've been through something where you wanted justice. Justice is something that makes the world a better place. Noah, I want you to think about this situation. Let's say we went downstairs, okay? Okay. And you were so hungry for a snack and I had all of these cookies and I gave one to Jonah, and then I didn't give anything to you. Jonah is his little brother. How would you feel? What would you say? That's not fair. Right, that's not fair. Because I had enough for you and Jonah, and you were both hungry, but I didn't give you anything. And you would say, that's not fair. That fairness that you're talking about, that's justice. What would help that situation? What would help you get justice? What would be fair? To give me a cookie. To give you a cookie. And then you would have your justice. How do you feel when things are not fair? Um, really sad. Really sad? I feel really sad too. And you know what else I feel? No. I feel mad when I don't get justice because you're just like, this isn't fair. It has to be something that works and helps everybody. And that's what justice is. So let me ask you this question. So what if we went downstairs for a snack and I gave you a cookie, which is great, but I didn't give Jonah a cookie. What do you think about that? I think about that that's not fair. That's still not fair, but you got a cookie. How come that's not fair? Because you didn't give Jonah that time a cookie. Right, and I'm glad you said that. And our friends at home, I want you guys to think about this too. Fairness and getting justice isn't just about you. It's about everybody getting what they need and everybody having something fair happen. It's really important that we don't just think about ourselves, we think about other people and what's fair for everybody, okay? Yes, yes that's important, right? Why do you think that's important to do, to think about everybody? Because everybody's a friend. Everybody's our friend. So what about people we don't know? What if it wasn't our friend and they were hungry and they needed food and we had some food? Um, what do you think? I think we could get some though. I think so too. Because we have to think about what's best for everybody. Even if they're not our friend, we can still be fair and just, right? Right. It's important to think about others. Now this idea is really important because when you're little, you'll be making decisions about what's fair about playing and about cookies and about sharing toys. But when you're bigger, there's bigger decisions to make about being just. And it's important that we understand this when we're little so that when we're bigger, we can make really just and fair decisions too because it's really important that we care about making the world really fair and just for 
everybody because that doesn't always happen. Even with grown-ups, that doesn't always happen. And sometimes grown-ups have to say, hey, that's not fair. What do you think about that? I think about um, that it's just not fair. It's not fair. So what we have to do is think about what everybody needs and think about what would be fair for everyone. And then we try to do that thing. What do you think about that? I think it's really great. That's a good solution, right? Right. Try to do what's best for who? For yourself? Everyone. For everybody. And then everyone can feel justice. So instead of feeling mad and sad, if everyone got what they needed, how do you think everyone would feel? Um, happy. I agree. So, <laughs> I like those. Are those your justice fingers? Mm -hmm. I really like that. So, we need to make sure we focus on being fair. And that is, what's that word called? It's a J word. Justice. And that's justice. Good job. All right, so we hope that you got to learn that word. We hope this, that you can practice having justice and being fair in your life. Bye, Sophie. Bye, Sophie. Bye, Caroline. Bye, Caroline. Thank you so much, Teacher Naomi and Noah, for talking to us about the word justice. What did you think, friends? What's an example of something that is just and fair. One of our friends says when our friends share their toys, it's just and fair. And when everyone gets a cookie, if they eat all of their lunch, that's just and fair. And what about if everyone takes turns doing special jobs around school or around the home. That seems just and fair. Thank you, friends. Those were all really good ideas. Can you think of a time when you saw something that wasn't fair? Hmm. Ooh, lots of our friends have ideas about this, Caroline. Somebody said, what about when a friend brings a toy, say a ball, to school, but they don't let you play with it? Hmm. Or what about when somebody always gets to be the library helper or the line leader at school? and somebody else misses out and they don't get to do that. Or what about when somebody spends all their time on your favorite part of the play structure, say the slide, and you never get to use it at all? Yeah, that, that doesn't sound very fair. What should friends do if they feel like they're not being treated fairly or if they see a friend not being treated fairly. One of our friends is saying that they like to speak up when they see one of their friends being treated unfairly to try and get help for that friend. And does fairness always mean getting the same thing? Like with the cookies, Noah was talking about that he got the same amount as his brother. So sometimes it is the same thing. Two people get the same thing and that can be very fair. But sometimes different people need different things. And so it doesn't have to be the same thing to be fair. Let's try an example. You want to play with me, Sophie? Yeah. Okay. So let's pretend that you are very cold. Can you be very cold? <laughs> oh, so cold. You're really cold. And I am in the sun. It's a very hot day. I am so hot. It, I'm sweating. It's just so hot. I'm so thirsty. And Sophie's really cold. So would it be fair if somebody gave us gave both of us jackets. Let's try that. See what happens. Hey, 
but somebody just gave me oh. this jacket, which is very nice. Oh, it's oh. a very warm jacket. Oh. I am even hotter. I'm so hot in this big jacket. Ooh, I am nice and cozy and warm because I was so cold, but now I have this big warm jacket. Thank you. This is not good for me. I am too hot. Because I am so hot, it would not be fair if we both got jackets. It would it's not what I need. But it looks like it's pretty good for Sophie. Okay, Sophie, let's try a different one. You're still really cold. But I'm really hot in the sun, and we both get fans, friends. Do you know what that is? Here's a fan. And we're going to turn it on and see what happens. I am so cold. Ah, Pam was so nice. It made me so much cooler. So it sounds like, friends, the fan was great for me because I was so hot but not very good for my friend Sophie. It wasn't very fair for both of us to get fans. What would be fair for us? Hmm. Well, what if when you're feeling really hot, you get the fan to cool down? Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling cold at the same time. So maybe I get the big warm jacket so that I feel warm and we don't get the same thing. It's not exactly the same, but we get what we need to be comfortable. And I think we'll both be happier if we have that. That makes absolute sense. It's really about what we need. And then people getting what they need would be the fair thing. Okay, friends, and now it's time for us to read a story. Should we do that? I'll go first by Cynthia Platt. Goat and dog and chicken lived on a farm. There was plenty of room and lots of activities to play together. Goat loved nothing more than playing with her friends. Their friendship was perfect except for one thing. Goat always had to do everything first. Follow the leader was dog's favorite game, but she never got a chance to be the leader. Chicken loved jump rope, but she always ended up swinging the rope with dog instead of jumping. There was one game they all loved to play equally, climb the boulder. It was the biggest boulder on the farm and so much fun to climb. Dog and chicken would have loved to lead the way, but... Friends, how do you think dog and chicken feel now? Maybe they feel that it's a little unfair that goat always gets to stand on the top and there's no room for them. They don't look too happy with goat. I reached the top first again, said Goat. Isn't that amazing? Not really, replied Dog. It's only because you never let us climb up first, Chicken pointed out. We should all take turns being first. What do you mean, Goat asked. I only go first because I'm the fastest climber. If you two were faster, I'd let you climb up first but you do the same thing in follow the leader, dog said, and jump rope, chicken added. What do you think they can do, friends? It sounds like in a few games now, maybe even three games, Goat hasn't been very good at sharing or being fair to Goat's friends. So now dog and chicken have spoken up so what I really hope can happen is 
go can start sharing the lead a little bit more with dog and chicken. Hmm. Let's see. But Goat wasn't listening anymore. She was already on the top of the big boulder again with a huge smile on her face. When she looked down to see her friends, her smile faded. Her friends looked frustrated and upset. Goat felt confused and sad. She wasn't sure what to do at first. Then Goat climbed down the boulder. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you, she told Dog and Chicken. Can we still play together? Of course, Chicken said, but we want to take turns going first. Great, let's climb the boulder, Goat said. She wanted to go first, but knew it wasn't her turn. Do you want to go first, she asked Dog. Dog happily nodded. Goat climbed up last. It wasn't as bad as she thought it was going to be. Plus, she got to watch her friends climb. Dog clung low to the boulder. Chicken spread her wings to help her balance. Her friends were so good at this. Sometimes Goat still had to remind herself to take turns, but she always did her best. So friends, did it seem like it was more fair when they were taking turns? Mm-hmm, yeah, a lot of our friends are nodding because when Goat forgot to take turns, it made Dog and Chicken feel sad and even frustrated, maybe angry. And when Goat remembered to do Goat's best, and take turns, then his friends felt really happy. It's great, that was a great story. So now we're gonna do some show and tell and see some of the drawings that our friends have sent us. These are our friends, Anna Dare and Owen, and it looks like they have drawn Cody. This is Cody the bear, yeah. This is funny. It's funny. And it's kind of funny if you know how to do it. And this is Cody. This is Cody the eyeball. Funny as you. My name is Anna Dare, and this is my little brother Owen. Thank you, Anna Dare and Owen. It looks like Owen's mom has written This is Cody. The light teal is the outline drew by himself on September 17th, 2020. It's a girl bear. And Anna Dare's drawing of Cody is here on the right-hand side. I like how she's, it looks like she's drawn a girl thinking about Cody. If you look on the very bottom. Hmm. Friends, do you know who this is? I think that's Hello, our friend. Yes, and Jeremy sent us this picture of Olo with a big trunk. And I can see that Jeremy has written his name with the J and the E and then the R, E, M, Y. And this is Carissa. Friends, do you know which character this is? That's Rhea. That's right, it's Rhea with the pink face and a little blue tooth. And the last one, this is Nitya who drew Cody. Oh wow, that's a great Cody. It's Cody's whole body. That's awesome. It's got such a clear outline. And looks like Cody's ears are pink and Cody's eyes are looking out to the side. That's great, Nidia. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, friends, for all of the show and tell. Keep sending us your drawings. We love to see them and we would love to share them with our friends here on Circle Time.
Well, it's time for us to say goodbye for now. And we will see you next time. Good to see you, friends. Bye-bye from Caroline, Sophie, and the Khan Academy Kids team. Bye.